Hello everyone, I'm Ravana and I'm super happy and excited because I'm gonna show you a delicious recipe today. It's cauliflower rice, but Mexican style. It's so delicious and nutritious. This cauliflower rice is perfect to substitute your normal rice. And this recipe is also part of the challenge hashtag me to fit. For those of you who follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you've seen that I'm doing a challenge that's called hashtag me to fit. So another YouTube channel invited me to participate in their channel and do a challenge for them. It's not a 100% raw vegan uh, challenge, but it's all about raw fruits and vegetables. It's to invite other people to eat more raw fruits and vegetables and exercise. I invite you all to participate in it. You can participate on Facebook, on Instagram, and even here on YouTube, just upla uploading your pictures using the hashtag me to fit. But anyways, I'm gonna leave all of the information of the challenge in the links below because I've already done some delicious recipes for their channel. So be sure to check those out. All right, so it's too much talking. Now let's get on with the recipe. <laughs> All right, so what are you gonna need? We're gonna need, obviously, cauliflower, and isn't nature amazing? It's just, I'm amazed. Cauliflower is part of the cruciferous vegetables which are known to fight against cancer. Cauliflower is also very rich in vitamins and minerals that are essential to our body, like vitamin A, vitamins B, and vitamin K. Also, remember that when you're cutting up the cauliflower, make sure to remove all the middle part since it can taste bitter. <laughs> this rice is Mexican and you can't have a Mexican recipe without cilantro. Oh, I, I, I just love cilantro. I, I can't get enough of it. Next, I'm going to use one strip of green onion and I've already gone ahead and cut it up. And of course, if we want it to be Mexican, we have to make it a little spicy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of serrano pepper and this is optional, of course. The next ingredient is gonna be the juice of one lemon and one to two tablespoons of tahini. And if you don't have tahini, you can simply use sesame seeds, it's fine. We're gonna process all of that all of that in a food processor. And if you don't have a food processor, you can do it in a blender too. Just make sure to pulse it. That way it won't blend completely, okay? And finally, we're gonna mix it in with some bell peppers, some yellow and red bell peppers. And a fun fact about bell peppers is that if you take all of the fruits and veggies, they're the ones with the most vitamin C of all of them. And finally, and optional, you can add some avocado and just cut it up and put it in there. That way it will be like super, super Mexican. Ready? Let's do this. So the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna cut up our cauliflower and I've already gone ahead and cut some up, but if you want to cut it up into bigger pieces, that's fine too. We're gonna put that in the food processor along with our cilantro, our green onion, serrano pepper, lime juice, and tahini. We're gonna process that really, really well until it gets like a rice consistency. After that, you're gonna choose your favorite bowl, you're gonna put it in there, and mix it along with your red and yellow bell peppers. Then it's done. And as I said, optional, you can even add some avocado and I think I'm gonna add just a little bit to make it even more tasty. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Oh, so good. Yummy. Mmm. 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 <laughs> mm. So, so good. I feel that it's very important to eat with our eyes too and the textures when we eat. So we see this, it looks like a rice. When you eat it, it feels like a rice. And I personally was not a huge fan of rice before, but I am in love, in love with this recipe. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this recipe. If you make it, please share it with me on my Facebook, my Instagram, 
or Twitter, all at Ravana, and use the hashtag Ravana and also the hashtag MeTooFit because this recipe is part of the challenge. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all next week for more fun and delicious recipes. Bye.